My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You are welcome to episode number 50 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. This is the perfect episode to talk about collection of gases. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, matter can exist as liquid, as solid, and as gases. The difference or the major differences between solid, liquid, and gases is that the force of attraction between the molecule of gases is so so loose compared to solids and liquids. It is the strong force of attraction between solids that gives solid a definite shape. Now, when gases are prepared in industry, in the lab, we need to collect all these gases. How do we collect gases? There are two factors that determine collection or how we collect various gases. They are solubility and density. You will be asked which of the following factors determine how gases are collected. If you see solubility, it is correct. If you see density, it is uh, correct. Solubility has to do with whether it dissolves in solution. While density is mass of that substance per unit volume. If a gas is insoluble in water, that gas can be collected over water. Because it does not dissolve in water. If a gas is soluble in water, that gas cannot can't be collected over water. A question comes to mind. Since we know that for gases that do not dissolve in water or for gases that are insoluble in water, we collect them over water. How do we now collect gases that are soluble in water? We can do that in two ways. One, by downward delivery. And two, by upward delivery. We've used the principle of solubility to see whether it is collected over water or not. The gases that are soluble in water are collected by downward and upward delivery. Whether these gases will be collected by downward delivery or whether they will be collected by upward delivery has to do with their density. How dense are they? When a gas is denser than air, it is collected by downward delivery. Denser than air, collected by downward delivery. Gases like sulfur four oxide, hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen chloride, chlorine gas, and carbon four oxide, they are, they are denser than air. As such, they are collected by downward delivery. Take note, downward delivery is also referred to as upward displacement of air. You see, like the opposite, upward delivery is downward displacement of air. Downward delivery is upward displacement of air, which implies that gases that are denser than air are collected by upward delivery of air, or you can say by downward delivery. Gases that are less dense than air are collected by upward delivery or downward displacement of air. And examples of such gases are 
ammonia gas and dry sample of hydrogen gas. Let me ask you a question. What if normally if a gas is insoluble, it is collected over water? What if you have a situation where a gas is soluble in water and it has almost all the same density as air? In that case, you can't collect it by downward delivery, you can't collect it by upward delivery, and you cannot collect it over water because it is also soluble in water. At such, we collect such gases over mercury. Example of such gas is oxygen. Oxygen dissolves in water, which means we cannot collect it over water. Oxygen is not denser than air. It is not less dense than air, which implies that downward and upward delivery will not come to play. Oxygen has almost the same density as air, which you can approximate them to be 1.3 kg per meter cube. Since it is as dense as air and it is soluble in water, we collect oxygen over mercury. And when a gas is soluble in water and it has almost the same or the same density as air, we collect salt gas over mercury. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for collection of gases. Did you find it helpful? Yes, of course. See you in the next episode and make sure you get the Flash Nena Jam app and begin to play with questions. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any video. You'll be the first to know when a video is released.